Haley, I am so excited you're here. It's a beautiful fall day outside right now and I'm so excited to go play. I wanna go on the swings, I wanna go on the slide. Do you want to? Yeah, let's do it. Was that you? Me, down here. Huh. That voice kinda sounded like it was coming from the maker box. <gasps> Should we check it out? Okay. It is like almost Halloween time. Halloween! <laughs> I wonder if there's something spooky in here. Do you think? No. Only one way to find out. At least we're together. Hello? Ouch! Was that a ghost? A nice one. I think it was. Okay. I wonder if it's friendly. I am! Oh, all right. Let's let it out then. Finally. <laughs> So cute! Thank you. Hi, little ghost. Hi. Come out of there. Look at this guy. <gasps> you look very friendly. You too. Do you think you would want to play with us today? Absolutely. <gasps> awesome. Before we go play with this ghost, I'm going to show you how to make a ghost just like this with simple materials you can find at home. To the studio! Let's make it! Welcome to the studio. Are you ready to learn how to make your very own ghost friend? Yes. Here's all the things you need. A spray bottle, water, school glue, toilet paper, a paper plate, some cling wrap, plastic wrap, aluminum foil if you want it, or some odds and ends, little containers. If they're rounded on top, that's even better. The first thing I'm gonna do is mix up a water and glue mixture in my spray bottle. I'm gonna do about half and half, half water, half glue, and shake it up. Now we're gonna make the armature underneath this ghost sculpture. This is the thing that's going to hold the sculpture up until it's dry enough to hold itself up. So this is where you get to be very creative. How big do you want your ghost to be? How tall? Do you want it to be tall and thin or short and fat? It's up to you. Hmm, I think for this one, maybe I'll do this tall bottle. And yeah, that'll be the shape for the top of the head. Next, you're gonna take a piece of plastic wrap and just cover up your armature. The glue won't stick to this, so that'll let us get our ghost off of the armature once it's all dry. I'm gonna start by spraying some of this water and glue mixture over my whole armature. There we go. We'll add more as we go, but that's just gonna help our first layer stay where we put it. Time for toilet paper. <laughs> toilet paper. Break off a section and just drape it over your armature. Keep doing that until your whole armature is covered. Now that you have one layer of toilet paper down, you're gonna use your water and glue spray to, well, spray. You can use your hands to kind of smooth down the folds a little bit. And then you need to add at least one more layer of toilet paper. Between every layer, you just want to spray it down with your glue again. That's it! Now you just need to wait about 24 hours, maybe 30, until this ghost is dry. I made some earlier this week so that I can show you the next step right now. Come on, little buddy. Once the toilet paper is all the way dry, you can take your sculpture ghost off of the armature. Watch. Boop! <laughs> it just comes right off. And because the glue hardened up, it keeps that shape. This is the armature that I had underneath this ghost. You see this little ghost? I made him kind of have an arm because I'm thinking I want him to hold something. The way that I made this armature was with tin foil. I just shaped my tin foil into a little ghost shape with a little arm, covered it in plastic wrap, and then did the same thing. Just covered that whole thing with toilet paper and glue and let it dry. 
Now that we took them off the armatures, we can trim the ends to look however we want them to look. You could leave them hanging so it was extra ghosty if you wanted, or you can trim it up so it's a little neater on the bottom. That's totally up to you. I'm gonna trim this a little bit. Now that your ghosts are all trimmed up, you can use paint, markers, craft foam, pom-poms, googly eyes, whatever you want to decorate their cute little faces. I'm gonna use googly eyes and hot glue because I love googly eyes and hot glue. You do too? Yes! Sweet. I also made this guy a little pumpkin out of pipe cleaners. family. They are so cute. I love this craft. I love it because it's simple and easy and so fun. You can make a million of these. This would look so cute on a table or maybe on a shelf in your room. Or I don't know, you could just go go play. Um, hey, pst, little ghost. with me and our little ghosts today. It was super fun making these together and then of course playing together. If you want to make more things with me, just search for K-Y-L-E-E. -E. That's me. I'll see you soon.